Hi, today I'm going to show you a little bit about deep manipulation in due forms. As you can see, I built a small form, and the first field is just a standard date field, which you'll see over here, I have set field equal to current date. So as soon as the form starts up, it automatically sets it to the current date. I also did a remove the today button so that it doesn't show the today button because it's automatically setting itself. The next field is also a date field. However, I put in an advanced format, which I'll show you how to do. And I also went ahead and showed you how to use calculations to pull apart a date. So in this calculation, we're asking for the day of the week, then the month of the year. Then we can go into numeric calculation. The first two are text calculations that ask for the day of the month, the month of the year, the year. And then we can also go ahead and show you how to do a calculation to calculate, say, a duration between two date stamps. So in this particular case, if I go ahead and maybe I raise the time up by an hour and say, OK, you'll see that my duration is set. And right now that's set as a digital number. I'll show you how to set that in hours and minutes. So in our first field, we simply just set the field equal to the current date, and we turned off the Remove Today button and actually turned off the Allow Edit because we want that form actually to be stamped with that date immediately, automatically, and we don't want anybody to be able to change that. In the next field, we use the Advanced Format option to format the field so that it would show the day of the week spelled out, then the month spelled out, and then the day of the month and the year. The reason that the M's are capital here is because lowercase m is dedicated to minutes as opposed to months. So in the case of month, you'd use a capital M. Um, if you just showed three M's here, instead of saying July, it would just show J-U-L. Um, and I, the same thing with the date. If you said D-D-D, it would just show you, let's say, T-H-U versus Thursday. Um, if you go to the day of the week, and I'll just jump through all of these, if you pick text as your calculation, in a calculation widget, you simply have to say which variant you want. So in this particular case, we pick day. And then it asks you which field do you want to pick from. So I just said date, no format, and I grabbed that field. And it actually used that date to set and pick which day of the week it was. And it's the same thing for month. I just changed it to month. And when you come down to, let's say, month of year, you're changing from a text to a numeric. Because in this case, you're getting 15 or 7 versus uh, Thursday or March or July. Um, <clears throat> when you do a calculation, you can set, let's say, a start time and an end time. You can put that in a table if you were trying to do, let's say, somebody's timesheet. And then to do a duration, you simply come in and say end time minus start time. And if you'd like to see that not as a digital number, but as hours and minutes or hours, minutes and seconds, you can come and click that here. 